Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Today I am gonna play Eden, and we're gonna see what we get. Not Abaddon for once. Decent fire rate, high shot speed, not great range, uh, supposedly bad damage, but who knows. And we have Sissy, and eh, looks pretty bad. And, uh, the, the flush thing. I forgot what it's actually called. Go figure. It might be called flushed. Sissy spawns spiders. These, those do two and a half times my damage, and, uh, she does it whenever she feels like it. Yum heart. Not really valuable to me either. Higher chance of heart drops. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. About that. Oh gosh, my knockback is pretty high too. I guess just on particularly mobile enemies. Uh, this two soul hearts, this is not a strong build. But I've spawned with much worse. A lot of the time when I get bad damage, I get uh, really bad fire rate too. Which would be pretty gruesome right now. Oh, thanks, dude. Little Steve fires homing tears. I'm hoping to be able to go to the curse room by the end of this floor, but you never know. Little Steve probably does at least as much damage as I do. Always a good sign, right? Oh, I can go now. With the addition of that soul heart to my team, we're going. Let's just do it. Ah, oh, totally worth. Totally worth. Oh, I didn't even realize I had cursed the maze. I probably even noticed it right away and said something or... I'm thinking that I forgot. But I forgot, which is the important part. Tears up, that's nice. We do have the Empress, of course, <clears throat> which is 1.5 damage up, 0.3 speed up on use. Wow, I didn't successfully dodge that. My speed's not even bad. I was just too close, I guess. This will take a little bit. Hopefully I just have a really uh, bad quad room or something that I can use the item on. That's the only goal here. Wow, I thought that would hit me. I didn't want it, but I thought it would. Alright, what are you? Alright, I'm just going to use it. Remove floor curse. And uh, give a... You know what, I'll take this. It's a better effect of the same sort. Remove Floor Curse, give a soul heart. And the bloody penny is every time I pick up a coin, 50% chance to also get a half red heart drop. So it's just more likely frequent uh, half red hearts than that other thing I was holding. Child's heart. So that just sounds better to me. Still have no red hearts. Not really interested in that with only one key, and in general, but... Another soul heart, nice. Alright. Everything's fine so far. Yeah, this room is exactly the kind of room that I would use this on. I don't know if you can get drops from the enemy poops. You can. Oh, that's really annoying. Why would you do that? That means I have to actually shoot them all. They used to damage you. They don't anymore. But this is exactly the kind of inconvenient room that I would have been dreaming of using this item for. I feel like the poops might have the amount of health that the enemy had. With the way it feels shooting all of them. Still raining, wow. Dormant all night, man. Cool it, man. Just chill. Just chill. Okay, let's go on in. Teleport? This is exactly how another run went. You know what? Screw it. I'm keeping flush. Uh, 
Wow, nice job. If only the black heart were on top, I would use it. Easy. Not even decision. Hoping here that I get a health up from the boss for my guaranteed devil room. Would hate to have to trade soul hearts, as that is far more expensive. Nah, more drops from poops. Probably a really good synergy with my current item. I only have one bomb, that's not worth it. But, uh, I just... I mean, my current item trinket isn't that much better. I should probably take that. I'll, I'll take that, I guess. I don't know, it just feels... Uh, that's thinking ahead. Not that that's a bad thing. Thinking ahead's a good thing. Oh, I didn't see that. Never mind. That's good, then. He's hidden behind my microphone, I guess. Microphone arm. Not the microphone itself that's super out of the way. Again, if only the black heart were on top. Uh, okay, one damage up. 0.23 shot speed up. Well, goat head, I have to. Guarantees I earn every devil in angel room. Devil or angel room. It's possible to earn. And guarantees that they stay open. That gives me lots of options, and it's good stuff. Okay. Nothing in there I need. That one damage up seems like it made a decent amount of difference. But I guess my multiplier is not that bad. I guess. Okay. Shoot that to get rid of the trinket. Shoot that in case I learn to fly. Uh, oops, that was silly of me. Don't have a ton of health. Really need to get a health up from this boss. Uh, the game hasn't felt like giving me any for the first two floors. The damage up is appreciated though. Should hopefully save me more health than I lose by not getting health ups. That's the dream, at least. Oh my god. These dudes are really tough to dodge, to be fair. For how simple their attack is as well. Bro, see enemy, throw straight at. Yet, it's just so complicated somehow. Just difficult to deal with. You guys want to just, like, poop farm for, like, the next hour? Does that sound like a fun strat? I should do that, right? I I thought so. So I decided not to. Stops right there though, so I'll check it out. Get this out of any pools. I believe it's just a shop pool. I think it's still in there anyway. Could just be crazy. Honestly, buying the Bible and getting rid of it is probably worth it. And maybe I'll be able to get that solely. A little while. If we're lucky. That was a close one. Nope. Haven't had any particularly inconvenient rooms worth using this item on. Tammy's head. Maybe I'll come back for it. But, honestly, my tears are nothing worth using that uh, with. And even just the chance to just completely clear a room of enemies is more valuable to me than the chance to clear a smaller room of enemies or do a small amount of damage considering my setup again uh, to a couple of enemies. <clears throat> So, uh, that was my thinking. It might not be right in this case. But I also use this item less than I use that item. Not that I use either frequently. 
Oh, I thought that was gonna hit me. Lucky it didn't. Excuse me, thanks. Gertie, this one can't shoot. Just spawns enemies. I think this is worth gaining damage for. Because otherwise I'd be here a while. All right. It'll take a little bit, but it'll get done. Again, I could generate resources just by like, I mean, I could have it spawn enemies for like an hour or something stupid. Turn them all into poops, shoot them all, get tons of resources. Uh, just an option. Doesn't sound fun or worthwhile, but it's an option. Dang, man. Blackheart, range and shot speed up. I'm going for it, Horror Babylon. 1.5 damage up, 0.3 speed up, all the time. And then I'm gonna go buy that soul heart in the shop. Don't worry, I wasn't planning on just running at a half heart the entire uh, rest of my life. But it's still risky. So we'll see what uh, comes of things. Okay. Good stuff. Get out of here. Not gonna worry about clearing. We're gonna just go. I don't have the health for a curse room, so I'm not gonna tempt myself by finding one. Still haven't gotten the health up. I, I really need that. Curse of the maze, a little inconvenient. Oh, that's my own fault. That was super avoidable. I've got a full heart to work with for now. Not feeling great about things. You know what? This room sucks. Are you joking? Okay. That could have easily just killed me. What an inconvenience that would have been. Dying. And you act like I got time for dying. Okay, this guy's good every, oh God. I don't have the ability to get hit right now. You can't do this to me. Do you need to shoot the poops? Definitely bombing for this black heart though. I would be a fool not to do so. Okay, I wanted to go all the way up here. I didn't want to go up a room. I wanted to go all the way up all the rooms. Same thing. Okay, that is where I wanted to go though. So you got me on that one. Soul? Well, it gives me soul hearts. Uh, there are a lot of theories on this thing. I don't buy any of them yet. I think it just deflects tears when it wants to. I don't think it has to do with the strength of the aura around it. Uh, I don't think that it's an always active thing. Because uh, I very frequently get hit by things that I don't think I should. I don't think it only deflects one at a time either. Pretty sure I've had counterexamples to all of those theories. But I don't know. I might not have. I might just be thinking I did. I don't like the item much. That's the real, true, important thing to take away from this. But it has some chance or some method of selecting tiers that it is going to deflect so that they do not hit you. So, that's a thing. And it gives you two soul hearts, which I do like. When I need it. Other times I don't so much. I feel like that one just didn't, didn't do anything. Range up, what the heck, game? What are you doing? Like, what? what is this? What game are we playing right now? The no health up game? 
I figured this would be Krampus, by the way. I wasn't that scared. So, a uh, lump of coal, damage up, and tier size up based on the uh, distance my tiers have traveled. Nah, I'm out. <laughs> Maybe we'll make boss rush. I don't think we'll make boss rush. Uh, nope. hate these dudes. They're so slippery now. They just get deflected everywhere by any amount of tears and any amount of shot speed. Any amount of existence. You look at them and they're like, oh, I better be all the way on the other side of the room. Real quick. Mid-charge. You know how it is. Be nice if some of these gave me, like, soul hearts. The money doesn't hurt. Pheromones, okay. Charms all the enemies in the room. Causes them to attack each other for me. That's real nice of them. You know, I, I consider that a considerate thing to do. Alright. I think that was all on the soul for me not getting hit there. That sucks. My tears aren't, like, bad now, but they're definitely not as good as they were. They're not good either. But, uh, my damage output is not that bad. And I think we can work this out. I like the soul heart. I don't know why I got one, but I did and I like it. All right, he shouldn't take too much work, Polycephalus. There you go. Now just this dude, who apparently was like right next to being dead. Emperor, boss room teleport. I feel like I just want that in my life. Not too much of a contender. That other thing. Chocolate milk, see that fixes my fire rate concern. I can spam at high rates, uh, and that'll still get affected by lump of coal just the same. Or I can charge for higher damage tiers. Or, you know, charge less for middle damage tiers, all that good stuff. We might be able to push boss boss rush as a thing. I have a teleport out of it. So it's probably worth it. I haven't had to use my item. But I'm trying to, again, only save it for when I have to. So I think a middle amount of charging is the optimal amount of charging for DPS with the new chocolate milk in this game compared to the old one. The old one you did want to spam because it was just a straight 20% tears up with no damage difference from normal if you spammed. Tears up and shots beat up. Sure. Am I even any part guppy right now? I, I don't even think I am. No, I'm not. So I'm just gonna skip that. That as it is. Let's try to push boss, ru boss rush. See if it works out, man. That was worth it. I can also clear the poops pretty, fu pretty fast now. I also can't speak anymore. I'm done with the ability to speak for losers. Wow, nothing. Alright. Much less inconvenient room. Oh. I guess a fighter killed one of them or something. Alright, I need to find the I need to find the item room because the Emperor doesn't get me out of the boss rush to the floor, it just gets me to the boss room. So I need to find the item room before I can do stuff. Wow! This is gonna be why I don't get to go. Oh, you're just being a jerk now. Alright, one damage up, more champions. 
You are being a jerk game. I do not appreciate it. Please. Have mercy. Oh, thank you for the mercy. Alright, I'll use the black heart. I guess I should actually keep this. I have a pretty strong build. I won't need that item. Black heart generation sounds pretty nice. I don't know if I can kill mom fast enough, though. That's the problem. I don't know if I can get to the boss rush. At least it's not blue mom this time. That's probably worth it for the damage. Alright. Come on. Okay. Chest, check this. Pentagram, one damage up, 20% double room chance increase. Probably not worth it, but then again I have uh, stuff. I don't really want any of that, no. Well, well, this is worrisome. Things are not looking the best anymore. But I got a nice one damage up. Am I right? Am I right? I think so. Oh, that almost hit. I do have a lot of damage output. Got a lot of stuff going for me. Interesting room. I think it's worth turning these dudes to poops. They're already poops, though. I wonder if they're immune. I'm pretty sure they're not. I was just making a funny. I'm like 99% certain that they're not immune. I don't think anything classified as just an enemy rather than a boss is immune. All right. Come on, get out of my face. And I can get the tinted rock. All right, it's a single soul heart. That is better than not a single soul heart. Oh, but thanks. Whoa, I didn't know that could happen. I probably knew that could happen. Okay, yeah, sure. Keep telling yourself that, Hitbox. Skolex's Hitbox is, like, absurdly small now, senselessly. And it's basically impossible to hit. Especially more than once in a cycle. So that cycle is when you're meant to do the most damage. Still, it's just like a little bit ridiculous. Cool. Soul Heart, uh, two key drops and a luck up. Judas's Shadow is happening. So if more when I die, I will respawn as Judas's Shadow. And that is a. Uh, Judas, but with a 2.0 damage multiplier, character multiplier, uh, and a little more speed, two black hearts, no red hearts. Oh, okay. Here's down, you know, I'll pass on that. I'm screwed, yeah. That didn't clear everyone. I hope that's the wrong way. You know what? Expecting that I'd have to go through that, I'd say not worth. Wow, even spamming I do a lot of damage. I must have had a bad character multiplier after all. This is why I think this was worth it though. I think I'll uh I think I'll get away with this kind of damage. But I think that that leech room would have killed me anyway. Because that room is a little ridiculous. I almost thought it one shot that thing. I almost expected that to happen. Oops. Hey. Okay. 
Oops, I didn't mean to shoot you. Shoot greed. Well, then again, I could die. I did need greed to die very, very quickly. All right, well, a good thing that was almost uh, fully charged at the time. This is bad. Oh, gosh. I mean, Pentagram was kind of an overkill decision to buy. Should get a soul heart out of this. Nope, maybe I had to leave the blue dudes alive, but I'm not certain. God, the damage output. I one-shot them with such a short charge. Fantastic. Exactly the kind of thing I need right now. Nice three shot. Health up, no. Not worth, man. Thank you, I needed that. Kinda badly. All right, I have nine keys, that's fine. I still have nine keys, see? Look at that. Sweet. Another black heart. Life be good. Nope. Oh god. Okay, we're fine. Stay here and it's safe. Same side bottom or other side top are the safe spots from the lights. Oh god. Let's see what the chest has for us. Wow. Uh, there's really no reason to take that for the fire rate. There's really no reason to take this to lose my ability to shoot stuff with charged tears. The dark bum it is, that's it. Which will make it so that every time it picks up one and a half red hearts, Drops a soul heart, a black heart, or a friendly or enemy spider. And that's that. Good form of keeping my health pretty well managed. Oh, uh, is there. There is a super gluttony. Do the thing. Thanks. And that is why I keep Super Gluttony around. But Super Envy is a total joke. Uh. <laughs> okay, good. Oh. Didn't even realize there were hearts available. I'll be back in that room, though, so it'll be fine. Because this room dead ended me. Alright, if I somehow get lucky enough to get a bunch of... Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna do the extra room. If I get lucky enough to get a bunch of chest drops for some strange reason... I got some keys. Wow, I shouldn't have done that. Game's like, you shouldn't have done that. I'm like, yeah, I really shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have did what you did. And it worked out just fine. I got the extra charge and I didn't get hit. But man, that was brutal. But yeah, 50% off in the shops. Oh, this room sucks. Okay, one dead. We're lucky. That won't happen. Oh, I thought it died. Mobby. This way is wrong. Best part about fully charging is the gigantic hitboxes. So hard to miss. You only have to hit with any pixel out of the many. 
rather than hitting with the center like in the original. Also makes the game really easy in a lot of cases, but... You know, it's a fun change. Okay, this is much better. Tears are now flat and have a wider hitbox. Oh, I didn't move in time. Alright. I know I wasn't fast enough for you, I'm sorry. Why did I think you wouldn't charge? I'm silly. Health is just going down the drain. I might need it too. I don't have any tier, bro tier blocking for the boss. All right. Don't do the things you're doing, buddy. Good. Not gonna get any items. I already know it. Wait. I one-shot those dudes with a full charge? Oh, okay, I just wasn't fully charging. That makes a lot more sense, I suppose. Alright, well, let's see how it goes. Full charge makes this fight a lot easier until it spawns stuff. Because then it's hard to hit it. Because all the stuff only has to collide with my enormous mass of pixels with one single pixel. You know what? It's like a hundred times their size. It's really easy for them to do that. But we good. We good. All is well. Surprisingly. Uh, that, <laughs> a low health run the entire time. But stuff happened. We got through it. That's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.